In Activity 2, Shadow Drawing, students work indoors with an artificial light source. They first identify a silhouette, then make silhouettes of their hands, and then compare them to their actual hands. Finally, students discuss the correct order of the three things needed to produce a shadow. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 2, white construction paper, light bulbs, light sources, bottle of glue, Lincoln Profile Silhouette, roll of masking tape, and extension cords. You will also need to provide black crayons, scissors, and pennies. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 2 for each student and set up the room so that it can be darkened. Also, collect extension cords as needed. Plug in the light sources and place them on desks or tables in front of a flat wall. The wall surface should be suitable for casting a shadow. Position light sources about half a meter away from the wall, far enough away from each other that one light source will not interfere with the shadow being cast at another. Each student will need two sheets of white construction paper, a black crayon, and a pair of scissors. Each team of four will need a light source with a light bulb and access to glue and masking tape. You will also need the Lincoln Profile Silhouette, which is included as a copy master with Activity Sheet 2. To begin the activity, help the students understand that the sun is not the only light source that can make a shadow. Review Activity 1 by asking the students about the three things needed to make a shadow. Sunshine, an object, and a surface for it to fall upon. Next, shine the light from one of the lamps onto the wall. Ask students, can this light source be used to make a shadow? How? Demonstrate this by darkening the room and having a volunteer hold his or her hand between the light and the wall. The student should be able to identify the hand's shadow. Make sure to warn the students not to touch or reach over the light bulbs because they can get very hot and to always handle the light sources by their bases and to slide the bases, not lift them. Next, ask students, what three things are we using to make a shadow in the classroom? The students should answer that the light source is the lamp, the object to block the light is the hand, and the wall is the surface for the shadow to fall upon. Ask students, what is the order of these three things? The student should note that the object is between the light and the surface that the shadow falls upon, making the proper order light, object, then surface. Turn the lights back on and sketch the drawings in figure 2-1 on the board. Lead the students to identify that only the drawing with the order light bulb, hand, screen will create a shadow. Show the students the Lincoln Profile Silhouette. Ask students, what do you see in this picture? Students should respond that they see the head of a man. Ask students, do you know who the man is in the picture? If the students do not guess the correct identity, tell them that the man in the picture is Abraham Lincoln, who was once a great president of the United States. Inform students that Lincoln's picture is on the penny and pass pennies around for the students to look at. Hold up the Lincoln profile silhouette again and ask students, can you see how this picture and the picture on the penny look alike? Allow students to describe the similarities they have noticed. Then, explain to the class that the type of picture you are holding is called a silhouette or a shadow-like image that looks very much like an outline of the actual object. Describe that silhouettes are made by drawing or tracing the outline of something, then filling in the outline with a solid color. Next, tell the students that they will take turns making shadow drawings, or silhouettes, of their hands. Give each student two sheets of white construction paper, a pair of scissors, and a black crayon and divide the class into teams of four. Assign each team to a light source. Darken the room once again. Instruct one student to turn on the light and tell the other to tape a sheet of construction paper onto the wall in the area where the light is shining. Then, have the same student 
hold his or her arm about 10 centimeters away from the paper so that a shadow of the hand and wrist falls on the paper. Instruct these students to spread their fingers and adjust their hands so the shadow clearly shows a hand. Then, tell a third team member to trace the shadow with a crayon, while the fourth team member colors in the outline solid black. Instruct students to write their names on the white paper under their hand silhouettes, and have the first student cut out the silhouette of the hand and glue it onto the second sheet of white paper. Repeat the process for each student. After conducting the investigation, encourage students to compare the shape of their silhouettes to their actual hands and tell them to place their hand next to their silhouette. Ask students, do the silhouette of your hand and your real hand look the same? Students should notice that the basic shape is the same, but that the silhouettes may be bigger than their hands. Inform students that with the setup they used, an object will make a shadow that has approximately the shape of the outline of the object. Finally, turn the lights back on and give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 2. Instruct students to draw a line from each object to its silhouette. To clean up, discard the paper scraps and put away the tape and glue. Return the light sources to the kit. To conclude the activity, have the students discard their paper scraps and put away the tape and glue. Unplug the light sources and return them to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.